two bomb holes, but missed the one in between. The racer found that bomb hole, defeated Ganon, and that's why we're here. Game three right now. We're underway. Laws, each of these runners have something to prove tonight. It was through their own very minor mistakes at the very end that cost each of them a game. And so now, it's got to be no mistakes this time around. Otherwise, you could be handing the match to your opponent. Absolutely. I expect this to be close once again. So the 64,000 rupee question is going to be, is game number three going to be another epic showdown? Or is somebody finally going to pull away and the law of average just kicks in? What the heck? Red ring in the first room of the first dungeon. Wow. That's amazing. Right off the bat, Neraestra in level three. Oh, by the way, level three in uh, level three's location. Chat, you know what to do about that. Bogey Small is heading for vanilla level one's location. We find level four. Triforce picked up by Neraestra, so he's on the board in that category immediately. There's still a staircase item left to find. We'll see if he goes back in. I, he I'd almost just bounce. I literally almost just bounce, knowing that you can screen wrap here in an instant. Absolutely. He's gonna, he's gonna keep digging it. Winner of this match moves on to the round of 64 against Redbird Grad. The loser will be eliminated from the tournament. Well, Bogey finds a transport. He's in level four. Bogey took the route up to vanilla one first. So it might be some time before he gets that free red ring within the first room of three. And Noraystra's out. Did he get the other item in three? I don't believe I he I don't see did. a heart. Yeah, no. he's just bouncing. He's like, I can screen wrap here later. He was key locked. Ah, didn't have the resources to continue there. So Bogey Small's in level four. This is a segmented level four because there's normally not a transport staircase. So this is at least double segmented. And Bogey gets bombs off of those moblins. He, he he likely knew, I don't have to clear this trap room. There's never any drop in this trap room in first quest. But he was able to get a bomb drop off those moblins. Very, very, very useful for him in his early dungeon exploration. We have Darknuts guarding the way to vanilla level 6. Certainly not the worst enemy, but definitely not the best enemy. And we have blue Darknuts now as well. Norace is able to squeak on by into level 7. Yeah, Noraestra still doesn't have his first bomb drop. He was trying to kill those orange Darknuts to see if he could get a bomb. And now he's going into this 7 empty-handed. Oh, these Gorillas might give him something. And only 2 HP for orange Gorillas. I'll take that. Absolutely. That means they go down in a white sword strike if any of these runners pick it up. And we see a Chevy room and we see a Mugger room. I think you got to give up the heart. Yes. Noraster will go into Zombie Link. He's going to up an A to get all of his health back. He ends up losing none of his resources. But apart from that, he really can't do anything in level 7. He's going to try to get rid of this locked door. And he can, thanks to that pirouette trick. Yeah, the pirouette trick works based on the screen that you have exited from. So any of these dungeons that have, like, the staircase descending downward, like, entering from the front, they will open the door on the opposite side, whether it be a bomb wall or a locked door. And Bogey finds the power bracelet in level 4. All right, not a required item, but it does provide early transportation to the four power bracelet spots. Neraestra looks like he is ladder blocked out of level seven because there was a double river room where his progress was immediately stopped. So he'll have to come back later when he's got the ladder. Laws, this is playing out very differently from our, the opening of our first two races where both runners were on the same path for like the first five minutes within like one to two rooms of each other this time they've taken diverging routes possibly knowing that they like taking the same route and oh there's a recorder under that armos yes recorder picked up by neraestra that's going to gain him access to recorder lakes level yeah you you are absolutely right that is a good analysis there in the first two races these two were pretty much following each other's footsteps we have a divergence of paths here between these two runners, so we'll see how this plays out. It leads, me, it leads me to wonder if they studied the VOD footage from either or both of the first two races to think, where does my opponent like going early, and how can I get an advantage? 
Yeah, definitely. But it looks like, however, Bogey Smalls is heading for that same uh, Armos item. But Neraser going to head for level 9's location. We have level 5. This is an interesting early play, Laws. We'll see how long it takes Bogey to come and check this vanilla 9 location. Neraser could get another early advantage here. Already having Red Ring and Recorder. Finding a heart in 5. Bogey will now pick up his Recorder, provided he can get it. He's at half... Ooh, there we those go. Armos rolled down to 1 HP. That was very nice for Bogey Smalls. That's very, very helpful, Laws. This should allow Bogey to pick up his recorder, hopefully sneak his way into Vanilla 6, where we had 7, and then up an A for a full heart refill. Yep, he's in there, and we do have our first ink blot of game number 3. Contestants, name that ink blot. It's a... Uh... Very confused, misshapen level three. Yeah, I can't put my finger around this ink plot. Nerestra, with no resources, can't continue level five. So he's found the ground item. That was a Harkin. He's going to try to do the pirouette trick for a bomb hole. Looks like it worked. I agree with Deadboy42. If you look very closely, it looks like the, the, fighting, like the fighting Irish mascot, whatever, from Notre Dame. Oh, another mugger room. That's the second one already. Neraster, though, this time would have to forfeit one of his heart containers, and Neraster says no way to that. So he'll up an A, go back to start, and look for a different path. I mean, early red ring is nice, but Laws, this is like three dungeons now where we've either been key lot, ladder block, etc., it's looking like some of the same from the past two games. Where are our progression items? Yeah, where are those progression items? A Jet Seed doesn't look like is going to be in anyone's future here. Neraster is now going to give level 4 a shot. And I think that Chevy room that you saw Neraster go into, that's what stopped Bogey Smalls in his tracks. Yeah, we'll probably see Nora dipping out of this for just as fast as bogey but you can go to the left there's some rooms to be discovered Ooh. bogey's trying to he bombs out of the mugger and finds a staircase this could potentially be the staircase item but it could be the transport staircase very difficult to try and do a block clip and he's going to take a death getting bopped by the blue gorilla there back to start he goes yeah Neristra, i don't believe had the bombs to bomb down there he had no resources Correct, right, Laws. He did not. Looks like Bogey's gonna go for it one more time. This could be a very, very early... This could be a very key advantage for Noraestra, or rather for Bogey, if if Nora doesn't want to dip back into this 7. Well, Noraestra doing a really good job with these blue light moles. That blue ring really helping him. If this is not... No, this was segmented. No, here it is. It is all hail, Lord Banana. And Norister will go ahead and pick it up early. That's the Bogey got his clip. case for Bogey. Bogey got yep. his clip, and he's into the transport staircase at level 7. Of course, the first staircase is always the transport in 7. Yeah, it's no surprise. Uh, level 7 by default is going to have at least one. So uh, Norister found that item that um, Bogey Smalls was unable to locate. Uh, Bogey Smalls... Of course, he finds a clock after he's cleared all the enemies in that room. He has two hearts. Now, if this could be our item, if it's not our item, level seven is going to be segmented. Oh, going for bomb strats. Perfect move right there. Yeah. Racer putting the wooden boomerang to use in a heart container for Bogey Small. So it looks like he has found that staircase item. And Noraster was able to get the Triforce out of level four. So Bogey Small's. Making a little bit of a routing error there, or either that or he didn't have the resources to do the... Wait a minute, he did have the resources, and Neraestra has no bombs. Yeah, Neraestra just finding a way around that ladder block in four to get his Triforce and pull out one of the items. He's going to dip it for now to see if he'll need to go back into four to find that floor item later. Oh, he won't have to go back into level four. He had already picked up that power bracelet. He has both of them. Oh, that's right. We found four. power bracelet at four. Four is done for Neraestra. So that he did not go through many rooms of that four laws. He only got through about seven or eight rooms, and he had found everything. So that is a that's very quick right. level four. That's right. He was recorder blocked. He didn't have the recorder like Neraestra did to take down that dig dogger. 
that's the progression that Bogey Smalls needed, and that's the reason why he couldn't complete it. Noratius starting to turn this non-jet seed into a jet seed. He's already got two Triforces before 10 minutes, and he's about to see another dungeon. Let's find out what it's going to be. Level 6. Two items in level six, but one of the beefier dungeons in shapes. It can be over 40 rooms. Once again, taking advantage of the pirouette trick. It's a good thing. Keys have been hard to come by so far for Neracer. Not so much for Bowie. He's got four. Going to take the any roads to get to the Lost Hill. That's a good play by Bogey. Since he was uh, struggling in that seven, he's going to use his power bracelet to skip all the way to the other side of the map. Grab likely a heart here from this take any cave and then we'll see where he pivots from here bogey going into monocle rock to take this heart Ooh! container bow on the island no ladder so the la well we knew the ladder was already required for level seven but now you definitely have to have the ladder to get the bow wouldn't it be something if that was the staircase item here in level six i'm gonna guess it's the white sword item laws i'm just gonna go ahead and toss that out right now We'll see if either one of us is correct. Bogey Smalls looks like he is going to head for Northeast Hyrule. We're going to find out how much that large secret is going to be. It could be anywhere between 50 and 150 rupees. Let's hope it's not uh, in the 50s. And how much is it worth? 91 rupees. That's how much it was worth last night when I was doing commentary solo. Not the worst large secret, but certainly not the best. Both runners are trying to get bombs now so they can further their dungeon explorations. Erasure are unable to pick up one from outside the dungeon. He's going to go explore in a bit to try and find an enemy to kill for some bombs. Here's the medium secret. 34. That's not bad. It's a little bit above the mean. Definitely above the vanilla amount. So it makes up for the large secret a little bit. So yeah, this is definitely an average money seed. You take it where you can get it, Laws. Yep, you got it. Bogey Smalls is going to head for level 6 as well. He's going to find out the bad news that he's ladder blocked out of the bow. Meanwhile, Neracer might be making a play for Vanilla Level 5's location. First, going to duck into the shop and find the most expensive blue candle you can think of. 80 rupees. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, I think Nora's about to do the wrap over to Level 5 to check what dungeon is there. At only four hearts, he's probably hoping to find at least one heart in this five. So who, he has a better chance of getting his white sword item. Malkyr is about to find out what the ladder item on the coast is, and we have our container. Chat, you know what to do about that one. Ogie's about to find it. I'm right here, Laz. Nereistra, level nine. Name. Nice. Nine at five. Ugh. Well, it means... Ugh. I hate finding nine at five, because it's always so much time to get back here. Oh, what a nasty screen! This is gross. This is he what has he has doing? a boomerang. He has a boomerang. That was so That's close. The ladder. Four hearts. I told oh, you. I told you. Move. I told you. You were right. But more impressively, Malkior, the moves Noracer made. That was an ugly screen. How he didn't take a death is unbelievable because the blue Lionels, the blue Dark Nuts, it's two hearts of damage. One hit. He's down for the count. And the fact he was able to pick it up at four hearts. Noraystra making the moves here in this race. I'm more stunned by the four hearts part, Laws. Like, that was only a 33% chance. Uh, someone please clip that. That'll probably wind up being the play of the match. Oh, no question about it. If Noraystra ends up winning this match and moves on to the round of 64, remember that play. I wow. don't think he would have died because he did have red ring, but oh, that's that true. Was, that was <laughs> so keep, pro. That was just so I pro. Keep, I keep forgetting he has the red ring. It's poor Bogey Smalls doesn't have the red ring out of level three, and behind Recorder Lake is level one. Nora's making the play that they gave me this ladder and this recorder for free, so something good's gotta be in here. 
could have gone to any other dungeon now with that ladder in hand, and he and he chooses Recorder Lake, given the game already gave him the. We have two ink plots on levels two and one. Contestants name that ink plot. I can tell you what the ink plot on level one is. It's one of those spear knights in Castlevania two. I see that immediately. Yes. Level two, I'm a little more stuck. It's just like a, a it's like a lounge chair, and you you kick the footrest up. I could see that, but you know what I see? I see in level two, someone is doing yoga. Oh yeah, definitely yoga in some kind of sitting position. Very nice. All right, we have our compass here in level one, so now Narration knows exactly where the Triforce is, but look at this! Bogey finding the silver arrows in level two. This is very valuable given getting that bow out of the White Sword Cave and getting and back to that right. ladder Getting that ladder block bow in six means you can be firing silvers for the rest of the season. Narista is out of bombs, and he's going to need some in order to progress through this level one. This has been a common early game issue for Narista. Uh, he's been having to drop out of two separate dungeons now for not having enough bombs. I don't know if oh, the luck isn't providing it for him. Oh, bogey. Oh, man, I hate Blue Gary. And that's the reason why. A banana to the face loses you one heart, and Bogey goes back to start. I hate blue gorillas more than, like, blue riz robes and stuff, because it feels like they're easy. I should be able to handle them in the early game, no problem. But it only takes one or two bops, and you're out. Yeah, and the thing with whiz robes is, whiz robes aren't hard because of whiz robes being whiz robes. They're hard because of what usually accompanies the whiz robes, particularly bubbles. Oh, fair point, Laws. Bogey's in for it again. Oh, already takes one hit. He's got enough bombs. If he can just set them up, yeah, on an edge like that. Yeah, Narista with that red ring, uh, quadrupling his defense. Bogey Smalls still on green tunic. Narestra having no luck with level one here. I know what he is trying to do here, but it's just not working out for him. Bogey trying to do his best. Only a couple of these. Oh, now he's on the half down. Now he's in a great spot. Great job there for Bogey. Yeah, he did get a fairy, and that helped him out a little bit. And this and the half tile fighting means you can avoid the boomerang if it's being thrown down. So you get on the half tile and then stab up, and you can handle Gorillas, no problem. Well, there's nothing of use there. Bogey did find a bomb pack, but now he's going to head for the northern section of this level, too. This one keeps denying Noreshra. He's out again, and he's out of bombs again. Because he just can't get a bomb drop. He's just been very unlucky so far. I know exactly what he's going. He does not want to burn his key. He wants to get a bomb drop, but nothing has given it to him. Speaking of keys, Bogey finds the any key on the floor in two. Oh, that's very nice. So his key problems are over with. Now he finds the compass, and that's that blue whiz robe room. He's going to have to clear three blue whiz robes to get the Triforce here. Three, I think he can handle. Smart usage of bombs, playing a little hide and seek in the doorway. He can do this. Oh, absolutely. So, uh, Narayster's still trying to find the three items. I didn't see anything so far. Finally does get that bomb drop from the orange whiz robe. So now, he's got a little bit of ammunition, and there's the white sword for Narayster. That's huge, doubling his attack power. He's got offense and defense now lost. Narayster should be improving his combat room substantially now. Here is our staircase item here in level one, provided he's able to clip through these blue gorillas. He's going to go ahead and sword this one. And now with the beam sword, should have an easy time. He does. Let's turn your, attention, what our staircase turn item your is. attention to Bogey. He's got one heart, and he's going for it. Meanwhile, the racer picks up the raft needed to gain access into the vanilla level four one spot. Bomb. Nice fight! Beautiful job, Bogey. Clean, completely clean. Used up all his bombs, but it was so worth it. Noreshra picking up his raft. Also, uh, he's found his he other knows item. Bow, he knows where the bow is, Laws. So when he gets back to that, when he finds his silvers in two, and he gets his bow out of six, which he's seen before and knows where it is, Noreshra's in go mode. 
That is correct. Also, he found the one. That was our third item in level one. And now he gets the Triforce. Boy, it was some tough sledding for Neraestra, but he clears level one. And he gets a lot of goodies in the process. Laws, we definitely could be looking at a sub hour seed. Yeah, now we are. It didn't look like it for the first, you know, 10 minutes or so. But yeah, Neraestra's starting to turn on the afterburners. He is firing on all cylinders. Nothing's going to stop him now. Now the only thing that could stop him potentially is is a bait block, I guess. <laughs> oh, don't do it, Laws. Not after the first two games. Bogey finds the Triforce in level three. Going to pass it up for now. Neraestra does buy the blue candle, which you need for access to vanilla level eight's location. He does pick up the Triforce in level 3. That'll be his second Triforce piece. It would behoove him to go back because that's where the red ring is. Let's see what he does. It was literally one room in 3. You just go down instead of left. Which he'll that's probably do now that he has to take divergent paths. And yes, he'll get his red very nicely done there for Bogey. That should make things a little bit more easier for him. Noraystra going to pick up this heart container. He's now up to 5 hearts. And he's going to check what's behind the coast. No, not now. He'll probably just take any hearts that he can find in the dungeons <laughs> oh, now. Oh. He missed his miss. burn. Yep. Yeah, missed his burn. He's got to exit the screen to reuse that blue candle. With Red Ring, he's already got his white sword item. Noratia's probably skipping any staircase heart he finds. He'll grab the floor hearts because they're quick. And then he'll just go on low hearts into nine. Seems like a plausible strat. We'll see if that comes to fruition here. Bogey's taking yeah, the intro know. Mm -hmm. back to the Lost Hills. I think Bogey's going to go check on his white sword item. Yep. And like Neraestra, he will have the red ring, so he's not going to lose two hearts like how is kind of uh, uh, commenting. He's only going to lose half a heart, so he's he'll, he'll be able to tank it, yeah. And he's going to get that uh, ladder right now. Noraestra in level two finds his silver arrows. You know, again, he knows where the bow is. So once he gets back into level six, he'll be in Triforce and Go mode. Heck, you might as well already say he's in Triforce that's, and Go mode. That's pretty much a knowledge Go mode. Twenty-two minutes in, Noraestra knows for a fact that like triangles, and I'm gone. He could wrap up this seed super fast now, Laws. Oh, this has absolutely. been incredible incredible routing by Noraestra in terms of the order he's taken his dungeons and the order that he's been able to uncover his items. And if, as if that wasn't enough loss, going up right here he should be able to find his any key. That's true. Now Bogey Smalls did claim his ladder from the white sword item so he now has that in his possession. Bogey Smalls now knows that level 9 is in level 5's location. So yeah, Noraestra will find his way back up to that, through that, like, that top column of two where it just goes straight up. And going through one of those rooms, he should definitely find his any key before killing the whiz robes in that bottom part for the, where it, like, dips down for, for his trifle. Yeah, that's right. And Bogey making the play now to Vanilla 9. I can't remember which dungeon Noraestra found at this nine. Five. Those two have flip-flopped. Five it is. We don't know what's in level five, or we, but we do know that there's no progression items here in level five. He's going left first, Noraestra. He may not find his any key. That could be the one thing that stops him here, um, Malkior, is if level nine is one of those dungeons that is key-starved, and has a lot of locked doors. We've seen that happen. That's why level nine, one of the reasons it's known as the great equalizer, that could come back to haunt him. We'll see what happens. It'll be interesting to see laws because otherwise everything is coming up Noraestra this seed. He can just try force and go. He can get all of, all he's got to do is get back to six for the bow, which he has already seen. Now, he's he's to... looking for the item though. He may just be looking at one room next door just to make a quick check to see if the item was there. I, I got a hunch he's going to grab the Triforce and bail, but we'll see. I think so, too. Meanwhile, Bogey 
deep in this five, finds a staircase. That's going to be the transport, so the next staircase he finds, and as I suspected, Neraster grabs the Triforce out of level two. I highly doubt he's going to go back. Yeah, if I can be four Triforces sub-25 minutes, <laughs> I'm not going back. He is going back! Wow. I, wow! Somehow, some way, he must have had a sixth sense, because he's going to be glad he came back. Did Nor'easter buy a candle yet, Laws? I thought um, he did. Yes. Okay. Yes. I thought, I thought the, the only two items you would go back for would be... Well, there's any key. you got to be kidding me. Like, the brains on this man to make that play. Yeah. I, I mean, I understand why he made the play. There was only a few rooms left he hadn't discovered of level two, you know. He, he, he figured, well, maybe there's an off chance. It could be, you know, red candle. It could be, could be the any key. And he was right. Now the race is going back to level six to claim his bow and the Triforce. That only took like an extra 15 seconds, and it's going to save him minutes of time now. Not worrying about resources. Just going through locked doors with no qualms whatsoever. Absolutely crazy. The plays that Neraster has been making. He gets his bow, now just needs to try for so 26 minutes in Malkior, officially in Triforce and Go mode. Unbelievable. This is insane laws. Like Bogey is gonna have to like find his other key items insanely fast. Or it's gonna take the most beastly nine ever to stop Nor Noration. Oh, be the most beastly nine ever. That might be an understatement. Right now, Noraystra is, uh, is again, is the afterburners are turned on. I mean, he's got, he's putting the pedal to the metal in this race. Cleaning up this dig dogger super fast. A little surprised he just doesn't exit the room, but no matter. It was a fairly quick uh, dig dogger fight and gets some bombs. He didn't need them. He was already at the maximum. So right now he's just looking for, well, there's a Goma. <laughs> Shouldn't be too hard with the bow and arrow, but doesn't need to take him down. I wonder how large this six is. He's just going room by room. I'm surprised he's killed. Okay, he's got to get through the shutter door. I'm like, I'm surprised he's killing stuff. I would take every open door first just to save time. There's probably stuff I don't have to kill. I believe this is going to be our staircase item here in level 5. What's it going to be? It is the magical boomerang, and Bogey Smalls, well, he's going to go ahead and pick it up, but he's probably not too terribly thrilled about that. Your ESK likes that, for sure. Yeah, most certainly. The difference between the two boomerangs, you have the wooden boomerang that has a limited range, but easier to control. Magical boomerang, the range is the entirety oh. of the screen. Bogey picked what? up a hot... Bogey picked up a clock in the uh, with wall masters coming out of the wall. Yeah, that that is the one time you don't want to see a clock. Unfortunately, because they're in the the money dropping group, the six represents the clock. That is the one item you do not want to see. There's another one. Can you believe this bad luck? Jeez, gotta be careful. Meanwhile, Neraster did find his Triforce out of level six, so he's got five on the board. Trying to think what dungeons he has. He's got to get a five at, at nine, seven back on the graveside. He's gonna go get that raft heart. He's he like, he might grab the potion. Yeah, he might even grab a potion. Yeah, he's thinking there is no way I'm gonna die in nine again. Right after what happened in uh, game number one, yeah, he's absolutely got that mindset. He's gonna grab this potion, and there's no doubt. Of wow, uh, he might be saving the one at Candle Row. Yeah, he might just be taking all of his take at this point. Bogey picks up his Triforce in five, goes yep. in the distance. Yeah, a little bit, but he really has to turn it on if he wants any chance of coming back here. And again, level nine is going to have to be... And Bogey Small is going back to five because he does not have the floor item. We know right now the only... The only and there it is, Heart Container. Well, that was quick. Yeah, Bogey just has to get to one to find all the gas that Noraster found. Wand, white sword, raft. Wow! And then he can start going at the same pace. Oh my word. Just take but it. Not, just, just take he it. Might again, he might just be checking the surrounding rooms quickly in, you know, in case there's a heart container or something. He's not grabbing the Triforce. 
Okay, no. He, he want, again, just quickly checking to see if there was, you know, a heart container or anything. He's going to be done with all the light. He, he's like, there's no way it's this fast. There's no way I'm this fast. Like, I got to be missing something. No, you're go mode, man. Trust yourself. Go for it. I mean, I don't fault Neraster for doing this. He, he's just checking the surrounding rooms quite, you know, in case there's an extra heart. And, you know, you, you, you know, you can never have too many hearts in this game. This is true. This is true. Ooh, right now, clutch clock on bogey yeah. side allows him to get out of that nasty screen where he had just come out of the large secret. Yep, now Bogey Small is heading to recorder lake, but he's going to have the same problem that Neraystra had. He has no bombs either. Yeah, it's hard to get through this one without bombs, and I don't think there are even any bomb-dropping enemies. He's going to try to pirouette first. And discover he has one way to go. Yep, that is correct. He is heading for level 7 right now. He is routing this perfectly, because when he gets done with this, he'll make the play to go back to Death Mountain into level 9 spot where level 5 is, and right now, Neraster is absolutely killing this. He could get he could get sub-50 easily. Oh, absolutely, Laws. It's... This is Neraster Seed. Oh, absolutely, this is no racer Steed here. And you know, Bogey Smalls hasn't played too badly here. It's But again, Zelda Randomizer, more often than not, comes down to who can route better. And I mean, no has just has been playing a near-perfect game. Absolutely, Laws. He's found pretty much every dungeon and the key items there within in the perfect order. The yeah, biggest, the biggest play probably being, I mean, one getting the white, the white sword item as the ladder. Oh, oh my gosh! On oh, a quick triforce wow. at level seven for Noraystra didn't even have to do anything. He is now one triforce away from being eligible to go into level nine. This is sick. This is disgusting. I mean, in a good way. Yes, like this could wind up being one of the best times of the tournament. Oh, I don't know what the fastest time of the tournament is, but yeah, Neraystra, you know, if his level 5 is quick, I mean, I don't know what level 9 is going to throw uh, throw at to Neraystra, but he has a very small chance to maybe sub 40 this yeah. season. When, when this is done, I'm probably going to compare his time to all of the finishes that have happened so far to see where it ranks. Uh, Bogey Smalls does pick up his white sword to double his attack power. And we've already seen the Triforce in Five Laws. It wasn't yeah. that hard to find. Like, Bo Bogey found it. It's just somewhere within the middle of the map. Raft found for Bogey Smalls. So he's got that now. Neraster has explored a teensy bit of level five. As you can see, he already has the ink plot, but does not know where the Triforce is off top. At any other time, in any other seed, having all the items that Bogey does, thinking all I need now is my bow, you would think, that's great. This is a great pace. And this is a but great against, pace. But against the... It, it is a great pace. Tonight, it's not a winning pace, though. This exactly. is absurd. Oh, I know. Racer finds a transport. He's not going to take it. Right now, he, he just wants to keep this as linear as possible. He finds a clock, and that's going to uh, enable him to clear this room. And Bogey Smalls also did find his wand, so now he just needs to get the Triforce, which is right here. And he'll be done with level one. It'll be his fourth Triforce piece. The racer is near the Triforce room. If I remember yeah, right, it was it was near yes. this middle area of five. Yeah, because this is where the magical boomerang was. Yeah, he's not too far away from the Triforce. So Bogey does have four Triforce pieces. There's the key for Neraystra, so that's not quite where he needs to be, but he, again, he is close. I think it's up. Just one room up. Or not. <laughs> no, he, he thought you're... maybe there were wall masters there. It's empty. I thought there were two for a second. At 
it's this room that's got the wall masters. Watch out, don't get grabbed, and don't get the clock. That was so close. Nope, that's a dud. That's not it. Meanwhile, going to the raft spot is Bogey Smalls. Here's level eight. And Bogey's not in go mode yet. So he's going to be going through every single item of this eight and finding nothing. Yep, right it order seed. Wow, one room up in eight. Are you serious? Just take it. Bogey, take it. Recorder, you have recorder. And Racer is going to take the transport staircase because it's segmented. I mean, it's Ooh. like it's segmented like the real level five. Not from a shape standpoint, for, but from like a vanilla level 5 standpoint. Yeah, like that phantom segment thing. Yep. And Neraestra, 35, 28, and eligible to go into level 9 unreal pace that Neraestra's on right now. Well, tell me, Melchior, what is Neraestra going to be looking for in level 9? He's looking for the fastest Ganon in Zelda possible so he can sub 40. What we are looking for is... We are listening for the roar of Ganon. Once we hear Ganon's roar, he is somewhere within an adjacent room. We just have to find a way to get there. And then also, we are looking for a single shutter door that does not open when all the enemies in the room have been killed. That will indicate the presence of the kidnapped. Meanwhile, Ogi Smalls, level 8, name that ink blot. It's like a man eating a sandwich or something, or eating a pizza, something. And Erastra, as I kind of suspected, does go to Candle Row, gets his potion, he can refill his health twice. Yeah, that's a segmented level 8, and it's not a pretty shape either. He's now in that four-room segment. He's in the pizza. 30 rooms. Smaller 8. Definitely. I think the smallest I've seen is either 28 or 29 rooms for a level 8, so definitely on the small side. Eraster on his way to the mountain, up, up, up to level 9. The Great Equalizer, well, as we had mentioned, it's going to take one heck of a Great Equalizer for Bogey Smalls to have any chance. And yeah, Bogey's going to be spending a lot of time here in this level 8. I mean, again, you can't fault Bogey Smalls for making the play here. You never know where that bow's going to be. It's just unfortunate it's going to be the wrong play. This 9 needs bait block. It needs... One-way magic staircase to Zelda, that's it. It needs one-way magic staircase to Ganon, that's it. It needs to use up... It needs, like, every single wall needs to be bomb wall only, no keys. That That's the kind of stuff and that has to happen in this nine for Bogey to even have a chance. And eight blue wizard robes guarding, well, that wouldn't help Bogey either, so... Yeah, this is, this is gonna be tough. Our options are left or right to start. And there's the map immediately for Nuraestra, as if he needed even more help. Not a segmented level 9, which is no surprise. So for the final time, contestants, name that ink plot. Yeah, that is exactly what we're all asking, old man. What, what is, is this, game? this game? Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, here's Ganon. Are you kidding me? Oh, yes. What? No way. What is this game? Right, here we go. We need uh, eight hits. A Hyrule Driver will cost him one heart, and he does have both potions. Do not die with a potion in your hand. That is a rule of thumb. There's a Hyrule Driver and no stun lock. And there's another Hyrule Driver. He's getting his potion ready. This is a tough room to do battle in. I hate fighting again in this room, Laws. It's spelled my demise multiple times. It is a tough one, and Eraser going to sip the Pepsi. He's got three hits out of the eight in. There's four. That was, an, the stun that was an early drink, but he's he's just tr trying to be cautious. Yeah, he's fine. He needs only three more hits. And he Ganon still has reps. Ganon's just teleporting across sides. That is that is typical of Ganon. It's Ganon being Ganon, as I like to say. There's six. Watch your health there, Neraestra. Oh, shoot. There's seven. Drink it! All right. One more hit is what? all Neraestra needs, and oh, we'll have Bacon. Yeah, at least he had another potion. He had the Pepsi version. And down goes Ganon. We've got Bacon. The racer will get his Triforce of Power. Time is running out, but if he gets really lucky, if we have Zelda in the next 40 seconds... There will be a sub-40. Yeah. 
We'll see what happens here. It's a long shot to be sure, but if he makes the right decision, if he can find Zelda in the next half minute, he's going to pull off a sub 40. and nope, there's no shutter doors here. Just questions. He's locked in here. Yeah, he's going to try to bomb uh, in all the directions. Of course, he gets a clock drop. So it's not going to be a sub 44 in a race draw, but he is still going to put up a blistering time. Unless, of course, Zelda does what Zelda does best, and that's be world-class hide-and-seek champion. There's every possibility, Laws. Help. But the old man sums up what we've all been thinking <laughs> for this seed. Just what is what is this game? You could have yeah, ninety minute like absolute struggles, or you can have forty minute like where everything falls together. There's a shuttered door, but that's not necessarily where Zelda is, no. Nope. Because there were no enemies in it. There's the book in level eight. Bogey Smalls has got to be. Oh no! Did I make the wrong play? Well, unfortunately, Bogey Smalls. It's not that you made the wrong play. It said Noraystra has just been flying. Oh shoot Literally. again! <laughs> Double shoots in level Double eight. Shoots. Noraystra though down to just two bombs. Could become an issue. It'll slow him down a bit. And if Bogey can get his bow fast enough, we know all the dungeons are fast Triforces. Like, we're not counting Bogey out yet until we see a shutter door open and a princess found. Yep, but if it's, uh, get... if it's this fast for Nerasura, it could be this fast for Bogey as well. Oh, well, certainly. Racer is just flying through this east side, but not much. Well, here's a here's a potential transport staircase here, and I think that's probably what Racer is going to want to see. If it's an item, oh boy! Still no sign of a transport staircase, and Racer is conserving his bombs. He's going to try and go through as many doors as he possibly can. There's another door. Racer hoping maybe for the compass here in this room and just misses on that uh, blue tectite. Nothing. The game would be way too kind to him if he got a compass right there. And there's our other item in level 8. It is the red candle. That means we have nothing but heart containers in level 9 as the two items. Looks like he's locked into this maze room, Laws. Nowhere to go. And out of arms. Yep, and th that's why this is one of the reasons why level nine is the great equalizer. I mean, if Noraster didn't have this sizable lead, this is the reason why. P playing Hyrule's favorite game show, find the bomb hole, and right now Noraster is losing in that game. So, Still if something bad, if something bad was to happen to Noraster, this is it. He's gonna see where the staircase goes and hope it opens more doors for him. Oh, it certainly does. So, opportunity here for Noraster. He'll check north first. And there's more ways to go. It's been through about 25% of this nine, Laws. Yep. No drops, though, but also Noraster down to a heart and a half. And he's got no potions left. Oh, and we have a dig dog. And Noraster says, nah, I'll take the other path. There's no guarantee that that could have been a push block for a transport staircase. So he'll take the alternate path. And he finds a compass! Oh my word! So, Zelda is under the T on the fourth row. I got it, Mart. Now, now how, how to, to get, get there. there. Well, now he's going to play the recorder tune and hope that this is a transport staircase that will take him far west. Once again, it's going to be the uh, three-segment variety. Now, he could leave. Oh, he gets a fairy drop. That's a break there. He was getting down there on health. Uh, so I'll, I'll note one thing about that room Zelda's in. Uh, you notice the segment Ooh. under nine that's open holes? 
That segment under nine's open holes. What about if it? If she's blocked from the right and the top, you'll have to magic staircase to get under her. Well, that would be absolutely trolly, and it wouldn't surprise me if that was the only way to get there. So, unfortunately for Nerestra, that was one of the two items. That was one of the heart containers. So, a tough break there for Nerestra. But yeah, Zelda doing her best job, which again, is no surprise. She is the Ice Queen for a reason. He's going through on no bombs now, Laws, and we've seen no way to get to this western side of nine yet without uh, staircases. Well, we'll see what happens here, but Nerestra is going to give it another shot. And yeah, you were right. He's going to have yeah. to hope for a bomb drop from this Gibdo. Hope he's got his count. Nah, he doesn't. Yeah, he's fully... He'll have to come back and get He bombs. has to get bombs. Which, this is an opening for Bogey. Bogey is now in four. Okay, grab the power brace. But remember, he didn't have the recorder, so he missed out on both the uh, wooden boomerang and the Triforce. So Ooh. now, bomb dropping enemies near nine. Well, that's nice. He's easily killed blue Octoroks. Erastrus going back in with a pack of four. There were dart nuts on the screen above. I wonder if I would have killed a little more to try to get a full pack of eight. But he's going back. Well, if it's orange dart nuts, he could have. If it's blue dart nuts, they're in the health dropping group, so no can do. I think it was both, but back in the nine we go. Norestra trying to find the path to the princess. Yep, he's got four chances to win Hyrule's favorite game show. Find the bomb hole. We'll see if he's able to find the right one. I would go to the... F he's... Hmm. I would like to go one room north and then one room west of Ganon and try and bomb either north or east. Yeah, certainly. Bogey is about to get his Triforce out of level 4. That's going to be his sixth piece. Now, this is definitely not over, but Bogey Smalls is going to have to tail it. Absolutely, Laws, but he does have a shot. Yeah, if this is, again, find the bomb hole, if it's magical staircase, if it's double magical staircase, who knows? More walls, Laws. <laughs> Man, I tell you what, Ganon certainly didn't make this level 9 easy. Um, you know, Ganon, there's, uh, there's something called doors. You know, maybe you should try it out. Bogey's now in three. Of... Uh... He's looking for the other item in three, and he'll be disappointed to find it is not required, whatever he finds. It's, believe, it's more hearts at this point. We know where yeah, everything it, is. It's going to be a heart container. You are right. Hmm. He finds a staircase, but uh, he doesn't want to take it right now unless it's a last resort. Well, <laughs> you may want to think about it now. Well, he's only going to need one bomb. Can he bomb to the left? Yes. We'll see if he can continue here. Well, here's another staircase p potential here. So the is starting to get a little bit closer. Taking the scenic route to Zelda. Ooh, another staircase. So uh, yeah, time might be starting to run out here for Bogey Smalls. And we have our first Patra Wayne sighting. And there's Ganon's room, but Ganon's nowhere to be found. Six rooms away, Laws. Oh, he's starting to get really close now. I think Nor'easter can feel it, but this is usually where Zelda pulls the rug underneath oh. your feet. If Here there we go. shut What's your door to the south, yes, there is. Get your GGs out for Nor'easter. He is moving on to the round of 64 and will face off against Redbird Grad in the next round. Boy, what a seed. Wow. Even with nine trolling him a little bit, Nor'easter will still finish. Sub four. Yeah, very, very. Or impressive rather, time. sub fifty. Sub fifty. Yeah. Forty-eight minutes and forty seconds. Wow! If Redbird's watching this race, he's got to be sweating. I would think so. And again, Bogey Smalls. In my opinion, he really didn't play all too badly. It's it's just 
Nor'easter got super duper lucky. Oh, by the way, I gotta say this one more time, Malkior. I would probably have not gotten the uh, recorder tune right, but as I always say, when in doubt, guess an SNES RPG, and I think Final Fantasy VI definitely qualifies. Oh, absolutely. One of the best. The best, in my mind. By the way, it's called uh, Lock. Or I'm going to make fun of it. It's called Jeff Lock. Do you remember that pitcher who used to be for the Pirates? I do not. I'm sorry. No. All right. <laughs> in any event, we do have our winner, Nerestra, here in the commentator's booth with us. GG, boy, what a performance you put up tonight. Just an immaculate, amazing run. Oh, my goodness. That That is the best. That's That's almost... That might be better than my vanilla PB. I'm going to tell you, I mean, uh, if Zelda wasn't Zelda, as she usually is 99% of the time, this could have been a sub-40 for you. Oh, it was crazy. Just, like, go mode was, what, 20 minutes? Like, 22 minutes, yeah. 22 minutes, we timed it. I, I, I was I was actually getting concerned. I'm like, yes, I have Red Ring. Yes, I have White Sword. I have to fight Ganon with six hearts. I was not happy about that. You you needed every single potion there, and you, and you knew what happened in that first match. You weren't going to make that same mistake oh. twice. And with Ganon being in yeah. the moat room, you definitely made the right call getting that double potion right there. But I gotta I gotta um, I gotta tell you something. I mean, both Malkyr and I were amazed at the play you made to go to the waterfall with just two hearts. You know, you did have the red ring. I had I hadn't thought about that because I was looking at the enemy set. And I'm thinking, oh my god, blue dark nuts, blue Lionels. He gets hit once. He's down for the count. You take no damage. You find the ladder. You're able to pick it up on four hearts. That, my friend, was the play of the match. No, I, 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 w I was thinking, one, I had the boomerang. So I, I was very much hoping that there was nothing bad on that screen. Um, when I saw how bad it was, I pulled the boomerang out. I know the trick for dealing with dark nuts. I just had to make sure I got it right. And I was like, I was just hoping I would either know what's in there and know what to do. Yes, it's a long walk back up there, but had it been five hearts, six hearts, I know where two hearts are. I didn't have bombs, and I was going right back for it. Yeah, man, you are absolutely astounding tonight. And Belgier, by the way, called the shot. He said that the ladder was going to be the white sword, and he nailed it. I'm finding the bow just sitting there taunting me in six. Like, haha, you found me early for a change, but, you know, <laughs> go away. Oh, yeah, for you in particular... That's extra funny. Uh, it was just unfortunate. I mean, uh, Bogey Smalls did not play too badly tonight, Malakior, but it just came down to riot routing, and you pretty much played a perfect game in that department tonight. Because the he's one talking, thing he's talking to you, Nora. He said my he said my name again when talking to you. <laughs> I, I, love, I, love, I just love saying your name, Malakior. I don't know why. Why? <laughs> it's a, it's <laughs> a fun name to man. say. That yeah, that was well, that was well, incredible. Well, I'm yeah. I'm just like. That nine was something though. I knew the enemy set, like the enemy set couldn't be bad. Yeah. So I was, I, but bombs. Oh my goodness! For the third race in a row, I'm sitting here going, I don't have bombs in nine. Why? Yeah, bombs were an issue for both of you, as I, and in level one in particular as well. You both, Bogey had a little bit easier time than you did in level one because you had to duck in and out several times. I think Bogey, I don't think Bogey had to do that. He did start with no bombs, but I do think he got lucky there as he does get the triforce out of level six so next stop is going to be level seven and then he'll be on his way into level nine too so again so that that level one play though so i i was looking at my rupee count i saw i needed about 25 rupees knew that first room was full of tech tights so at least i was getting five to ten rupees a pop so i was like okay i'm at least getting my candle i know i can get bombs off these gorillas if i can just get the right globals to line up and I'm like, one's got to have something. And one paid off. Yeah, one, one white sword wrap. That, yes. was, that was amazing. Uh, I'll go ahead and let you know and let everyone in chat know. You're 4840 in terms of races in the elimination rounds is currently at third place overall. Oh, my. Mr. Cab finished with like a, a 4611. And then... Was it was it truant truant or random effect? One of the two. I had it here previously. Keep going. I'll let you know. So, so before today, I had sub houred one seed, and it was yeah. like fifty nine fifty nine, like yeah. barely yeah, sub houred. This was stunning. This was the bomb, man. 
Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, the the one that Mr. Cab put up. That that, in my opinion, that race that Mr. Cab put up is what, in my opinion, is going to make him a dark horse contender through this tournament. He, he could make a deep run. I mean, watch out for Mr. Cab. Bogey Smalls finds his Triforce out of level seven. You know, again. He, he has not played too badly tonight. It's just, Nor'easter, you routed it pretty much perfectly. That's all I can say about uh, what the difference was between these these two racers tonight. Please make sure you give both Bogey Smalls and Nor'easter a follow because they have put on a clinic for all three of these races. But what, what really made the difference happen is, unlike the first two races where you kept literally following each other, we had a divergence of paths to oh, yeah. start things off. I wanted to ask, did you do that on purpose? Did you do any t type of analysis to where you saw what routes you guys took in games one and two, and thus you picked differently this time to try to create advantage? I, I can't say that I did. Um, I like to route three, six, almost nine. Uh, and the reason being is it's, it's just the most dungeons, and, unless you run into nine somewhere and even then, it's the most items as quickly as you can hit. And you can very easily, if you find a dungeon, much like... Um, I have to actually look at my overworld again. You know, um, I hit seven. I'm like, okay, this is seven. I'm looking at three rooms, and I'm leaving, grabbing my armor item, and going up to nine. Because I really don't want to play in seven if I don't have to. Yeah. And then... I was the, most... I, the, the I was most was the, the payday was that recorder. Yeah. The yes, was that's, that was it. I was most stunned by uh, with your 369 route, you then up an aid, and then went to Recorder Lake as your next spot. And not going to level 1, not going over to the east. You I went thought to about going Lake, to 1. I'm like, I, I I'm like, thought about it. But... Sorry to stop so... you, gentlemen. Sorry to stop you, gentlemen. But one more time, he Here's Ganon. Bogey at the Ganon fight right now at about the 56 and a half minute mark. Needs eight hits with the white sword, and a Hyrule driver will cost him one heart. But just like you, Noraystra, Bogey Smalls having trouble finding the groove, and he's been Hyrule drivered a couple times already. I feel like Ganon was slightly off in this fight. He didn't, it, it didn't feel good no, at all. No, and yeah. Bogey still doesn't, he finally gets a hit. There's a stun lock. Three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, immaculate job there for Bogey Smalls. It wasn't easy, but once he hit Ganon, he got the stun lock. Perfect ending to that fight. Well done for Bogey Smalls. He's got the Triforce of Power and more crispy bacon. He's, again, now, if somehow Bogey Smalls routes this better than you did, Neraster, he still could sub hour this seed. And let me tell you, that time is going to win, I'd say, 90% of the time in a race. It's just not enough tonight. Yeah, and I mean, it feels good, especially knowing who my opponent is next. Um, I'm going to have to put up times like this to even stand a chance in this, this next week. Yeah, your next oh, yeah. opponent, of course, is going to be Redbird Grad, the number 14 seed. And, of course, he is one of the top, not only vanilla runners out there, but also one of the top Zelda randomizer players out there as well. And he put some really good times, you know, race in, race out. He's definitely going to be a formidable opponent, but... If you make routing choices like the ones you've made tonight, you may have a shot of pulling off the upset here. Yeah, I I was stunned by all of your... Okay, you went back into two when you were already go mode. And you find the any key. There were four rooms left. It, and that's what and that's what I brought up, uh, Malkior, when I was talking about Bogey Small's decision. I mean, I get it. I mean, in case there's the off chance that he's going to find the any key, he only had four rooms left. He's like, you know what? I'll finish off this level two. And if it turns out it's the gold mine, I, I, I look really smart. And <laughs> look at you. <laughs> well done, Narezdra. Yeah, I mean, it, it didn't cost a lot of time, and it. Um... It paid off as far as you know. If it's if it's a heart container, that's one extra hit for Ganon. Um, if it's anything else, yes, I lost a couple seconds. But at the pace I was at, I wasn't worried until I hit nine. And then I started looking over at the SRL, going, "Okay, okay, this is too fast. Where where's the dot done?" I know, man. Talk us through your. 
I, I guess like your sanity going through that nine. We've seen worse, but yeah, with the the constant bomb issues, having to take a scenic route all the way around the outside of nine to find Zelda. Yeah, that, that was special. Um, Ganon was that was impressed. Like I walked in and I heard Ganon. I I want to say in the second room and I saw the room to the north. And I'm like, did I hear Ganon? Walked up. I'm like okay, got Ganon. I did check, kind of check, you know, the couple bomb walls I had. Realized I'd run, I'd drop my last bomb, and I was like, "Oh, that's bad." Um, thankfully, I, instead of being stubborn like I was in the last race and and trying to pick off the enemies in nine, there weren't a lot of Gibdos to kill. I left and went and found some some blue Octorox, which that was. I'm so grateful he dropped that bomb. <laughs> I needed that bomb badly. Yeah. Well, you were. And, and hey, having the blue water rocks outside really came in into play. Yeah, that that saved me. Um, and then just it's nine. It's 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 a crapshoot. You you can bomb every wall. You can take every magic staircase, and it's still not enough sometimes. Well, Bogey is gone up, 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 and has found the route north in this nine. Which means if he yeah, continues the right going around the outs, if he continues going around the outside, he will find his princess in relatively short time. Yeah, he's on the right track. Because remember, this is where all these diamond staircases. Oh, he's good about it, but he's gonna keep on going to the left. He, he's gonna get blocked by these walls, and we'll see if he decides to bomb or take a staircase. Yes, he is playing find the bomb hole. He'll win here. So yeah, he. I mean, he doesn't know it because he does not have the compass like you did, Neraster. And I'm going to tell you what, uh, if he does continue to, to make the path that he is making, he could have a faster level 9 than you did, Neraster. Oh, without a doubt. But that compass put me on the right track. It, it told me. This, this seed really directed me where to go. Like, oh, it, it yes. basically said, go this way. And where's Bogey going to go now? He's he going to go south. He's still He on has the right open track. doors. He has open doors, and the rest of the doors to Zelda are open. If he just keeps following where the game is taking him, he'll get there. But he is going to go north. This could lead him to a divergence, because this potentially could be a transport staircase. That could, now, now he's going to skip it. Nine times out of ten, even if that is a staircase, I don't take it. I continue going where the open area is. Yeah, that's, the, that's how I route as well, Mount here, is, is I'm very much, I, if I'm not looking for an item, I want to stand. Yeah, I, I think it depends on what the situation is. If you're looking for items, you take the staircases, cross them off your map. Yep. All right, he'll go through here, and then he'll have one yeah. more room. This is it. So please get your GGs out for Bogey Smalls. A fantastic time. That's going to win a lot of races. He played extremely well this evening. It's just unfortunately not going to be enough tonight for Bogey. Stuck it out and still put in a, a time of like one hour, two minutes, and bleh, something seconds. Because it's not stopped. He's just probably going to join us in a second. We'll see. Yeah, I, I guess it's irrelevant to him, but it's a, it's about a 62 and a half minute time for Bogey. Well done. Great match. What an exciting set of three matches these these two runners put up. And I want to go ahead and. Go ahead, Loss. Probably one of the best matches we have seen so far in the tournament. And this is only the first round, folks. This is only the beginning. Yeah, I want to say to anyone in chat, if you did not see game one and game two between these two runners that occurred Sunday night, you owe it to yourself to go to the Randomania VODs and watch those races because they are thrilling and fantastic full of twists and turns it's, it's the kind of race that you could watch multiple times absolutely man just great stuff between bogey smalls and the racer and it's a shame we have to say goodbye to bogey smalls because he was definitely one i was on the lookout for you know early part during the qualifiers he looked really impressive in his qualifiers and he was really impressive during this entire match against Juno Raystra, but in the end, you just got a little bit luckier than Bogey Smalls did. And sometimes you just oh, need a little bit of luck to win. And Lost, this is his first tournament. This is his this first is, tournament. He's going to be back. This is his first time playing randomizers. 
I know, and he looked He's really gonna be impressive. a threat. He is yes. going to be a threat in future battle royales, in uh, like other other future seasonal tournaments, in any race he enters. He is always going to be a oh, threat, without yes. a doubt. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I got incredibly lucky to force a game three. Um, that's that's all there is to it. Like, it t it took everything to force that. Absolutely. So again, GG, congratulations on advancing to the next round against Redbird Grad. And again, if you if you play the way that you played against Bogey Smalls, I, personally, I, I, I'm, I'm dead serious. I think you may have a shot of pulling off the upset. It's definitely going to be fun. Uh, that's for sure. Yeah. And, and if you got any tips against high ranked runners, I'm open to anything because I have to face drone. <laughs> uh, good, oh. good. I got nothing on that one. Well, as, as they say in uh, Smash TV, good luck. You'll need it. But hey, anything can happen, Malkior. It's Zelda Randomizer, as I've mentioned. Anyone can win any race at any given time. And all it takes is that one break to go your way or that one break to go against your opponent. Yep. And we might get a bogey in here for a quick post-match interview. He just needs to decompress for a bit. That was a, that was a thrilling race for him. Oh, it certainly was. He, that level nine. He, I mean, consider, considering he'd never had the compass, he played it about as good as he could have given the circumstances. Uh, oh yeah, that would I'm telling me. you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. If Bogey comes into level nine, roughly three or four minutes behind our racetrack, he wins that match. He, he does. Oh, easily. With that, we do have Bogey Smalls here in the commentator booth with us. GG, you put up a really, really good time, but unfortunately, you went up against a buzzsaw tonight in the race trip. More or less, it came down to the early routing. I mean, the race trip practically played a perfect game. You you played a really, really good game on your own right. It's just a couple decisions there, a couple decisions there, ended up being the decision, the determining factor of this race. Yeah, uh, GG's to Nora. Uh, GG's congratulations, GG's. moving on to the next round. Um, yeah, I, I, I tried to change things up a little bit headed into uh, game three just to try to differentiate things, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> with that risk, uh, you know, I was hoping for some uh, reward, but uh, you know, not today. So uh, GG's Nora, and uh, good luck against RBG in the next round. Uh, GG's to you as well, Boogie. You gave me uh, everything I could take and more. It was it was great racing you. Yeah, I must say, Bogey, uh, when I watched you during uh, one of the weeks of qualifiers, you looked really impressive to me, and I thought you were going to be one of the runners that might be a dark horse to make a deep run. And, you know, you're definitely capable of making a run like this in the Zelda Randomizer tournament, and uh, even Malkior was mentioning, he's you're going to be someone to watch out for in future tournaments and battle royales because you looked really good out there. And for a first Zelda Randomizer tournament, I must say GG. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, I am certainly looking forward to the next one. I uh, was, was hoping to, to sneak through the uh, first round, but uh, you know, that's just the, the way it happened. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how the rest of the tournament goes, and uh, I'll probably go back to some uh, vanilla any percent just to get off of Rando for a little bit. But, I'll, I'll you know, I, I've had my reservations coming into Rando, um, having just done the vanilla speed run. Um, you know, it was a little bit frustrating that the learning curve, um, you know, I still have plenty to learn, but, uh, you know, I can certainly see the appeal of the game and, uh, I will definitely not be going anywhere. Yeah, I, I can't say, wait for the rematch. Yeah, I can't <laughs> wait for you two to rematch again. If it's anything like this, this, this past match we just completed, it's going to be lit. I mean, so far, I mean, I know we're early into the tournament, gentlemen, but I think this is so far the match of the tournament. Oh, yeah. Some some, some of the rounds have had some close games between some of the runners, like someone had a close game two or someone had a close game one or someone even had a close game three. Your guys' match so far, the entire match as a whole, has been the highlight of the tournament. 
Well, good. Um, yeah, I certainly had fun. Uh, <laughs> at no point did I ever feel like I had any advantage and you know, at the same time, never felt behind either. Um, I was a little bit uh, flustered when I looked down just to see if I'd seen any, you know, dot duns just to see that uh, SRL had, had crashed or gone down. I'm like, all right, what, what do I do now? But um, uh, no, you, you know, I, I made the conscious decision to go uh, one first. Um, I don't know that going three first would have changed too much. I would have found the red ring earlier. I don't know that I would have, um, you know, I, st I, I went from uh, level four uh, over to level seven, uh, the vanilla six location, um, dug there for a little bit. And I think I made my way over to buy my candle. And I think in hindsight, um, just looking at my notes here, um, if I had decided to do level six when I peeked into it uh, and found the bow, um, I, I certainly would not have spent uh, all that time full clearing level eight, which I think is probably what, what ended up doing me in. Now, well, that was part of the reason, because, yeah. yeah, by the time that Noraystru was in level eight, he was already in go mode. Yep, exactly. Yeah, so he, he was go mode 27 minutes in. Wow, that's great. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to say I was go mode on four hearts. It was not a great feeling. Yeah, I think I, I was just looking for the bow. Um, that's correct. You were. Yeah. So I th let's see. Uh, I'm just. Looking. Everything else was kind of freely given from our most recorder, one being filled with gas, uh, two any key and silvers, everything. Three, literally one room down, very first room you enter, red ring. And yep. then it was just having the ladder to get to that bow in six. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, because I ended up doing seven and eight last. Um, I didn't, you know, eight, I spent, a, a, you know, obviously a huge chunk of time. And then um, even in five, yeah, so five, five and eight probably were the the difference makers i i did full clear f four or very close to it um which ended up being my first dungeon as well so um yeah i mean yeah i had i gone level three um you know it could have been a much uh, closer match but i think you know still would have come down to the decision of whether or not i would have ended up digging out six and uh yeah, I think the the bow is what two three rooms in. So, had I just stuck with it and and gutted it out, could have been a, a much tighter race. Yeah, I would love to either see physically or calculate what if we took out the time you spent in eight and like the time you went back to three briefly, how close this still would have been because your nine was faster. You, yeah, it's kind of like you, you, you ride you nine. Again and quickly, but then, like, to find that literally all the way around the outside route to Zelda, Nora had compass. You just went where the game told you. Yeah, I think I, I bombed. <laughs> so this time I was also very conscious of bombs uh, in nine, um, given the, the last two races. So, um,. Yeah, I just kept following. Yeah, you know, at one point, uh, um, I could have taken a stair, or you know, I, I ended up on the the far right side in the middle, uh, being able to bomb up, um, and then yeah, I just I just kept on going where I could go. Um, you know, not taking stairs, just because I didn't. You know, I just figured I as long as I can keep going, I might as well. I could always backtrack to the stairs, and then eventually, um, you know, found the shutter doors. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm happy with the time 102. I mean, obviously, uh, it would have been significantly different. Um, you know, like you said, if I, I took out some of three and, and done six first, but, um, yeah, uh, I, uh, I can't hang my head. I felt like I played well. Um, it just came down to the routing at the end of the day. Oh yeah. That, that run is still something to be proud of. No, absolutely. Oh, any closing comments from you guys? 
No, I'm, I'm, I'm sold on Rando. Um, I will probably uh, be participating as a, a commentator <laughs> throughout the remainder of, of the tournament uh, where, where I can. Um, yeah, it's, it's a fun community. I, I've had a pleasure um, learning a ton and uh, you know, having you know, just the community uh, embrace me and you know, give all sorts of pointers and just you know, kind of be open with everything. So it's it's a lot of fun. I love the competition, and uh, I, I will certainly be back. There's always next year. Absolutely, a really good performance from you, uh, Bogey Smalls. A GGs to you, and yeah, we do hope to see you again in a future tournament. And hey, best of luck to you running the vanilla game. It's definitely a different beast from the randomizer, but I know you're going to do well in that. Thanks, appreciate it, and congrats again. All right, so I think with that, we're going to go ahead and draw the uh, coverage to a close tonight here on Randomania. But I do want to point out we have several races lined up for you tomorrow night, starting with Fry Teeth versus the Allen Heffley. That is game number two. going to be at 8 p.m. Eastern. Looks like that's going to be on one of the Randomania channels. Uh, then we have game number one of Zeb Gedney and OPT Lawyer at 9 p.m. Eastern. Then... We have Chess Jerk and Dark Falls, which I believe is a round of 64 matchup. Game number yes. one, 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Also at 9.30 p.m. Eastern will be, if necessary, game number three of Fried Teeth and the Allen Hefley. Again, it's probably going to be on one of the Randomania channels, it looks like. None of the um, races have a Restream channel currently designated yet, so please make sure you're checking the document at all times to find out where these races are going to be. So, Malkior. Any final thoughts about this match before we say goodnight? I hope I get a seed like that against Drone. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, I wish you the best of luck to you in your match against RC Drone. And I know it's going to be a tough match, but uh, again, if this seed told you anything, it's that anything's possible. Oh, yeah. Push through. Let's do it. All right. So I, will, that, I will say it was great commentating with you again, Laws. Yeah, absolutely. It was great doing commentary with you as well. So on behalf of our restreamer tonight, MathGirl7184, our tracker, Living Dead Boy, for everybody here on Randomania, for everybody in chat, and for my commentator partner, Malkior, and for our two racers tonight, Bogey Smalls and Noraystra. What a match. This is LOZ Cards Fan 23 signing off. Have yourselves a great evening, and we'll see you all tomorrow night. Take care. Good night, everyone. Peace.